Neben mir Woody und Pepper von COC, die gerade mit Soundgarden durch Deutschland getourt sind und uh, vielleicht ihre größte Tour dabei erlebt haben. Was this uh, this tour with Soundgarden the biggest one you did so far? It's uh, so far in Europe. This is this is the biggest tour. We've only been once before, and it was with DRI, and uh, we played some of the same some of the same places, but. Uh, This time uh, there's a lot more people coming out, you know, and uh, this time we have a new album out, and so it's a lot better for us, you know. Plus Soundgarden are good buddies of ours, so it's it's a good tour for us. We toured with them once in the States, though, and that was a, about the same size. When, when one thing that I notice is that all the the classic bands from the early hardcore days, like Agnostic Front, like Chromax, the new album Chromax, is a little bit different yeah. than uh, what they did before, and COC, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's all going in a more, say, uh, groovy, Maybe rocky direction. Heavier. So what? Why is that? Uh, I don't think there's really a reason. I, I think as far as uh, COC goes, I think that we fucking uh, just wanted to create an album that was like a very real album that you could listen to in 20 years and like go, yeah, well that's I can still listen to that. That's cool, you know. It doesn't sound like it was made in 1992 or whatever. It sounds like it can last for a while, you know. I, I think that's what what we were interested in doing, you know. And I think. Uh, I think we'll keep on doing that kind of stuff, you know. I, I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think blind is the, the most brutal thing we've ever done, you know. I think it's the heaviest. Especially in terms of uh, becoming better musicians and being able to write better songs helps out a lot, you know. We're not 15-year-old punk rock kids anymore, but you know the attitude's still the same. But we just got better at playing what things we play, and uh, in terms of writing songs, we are able to focus ourselves better than we did before. Why has it taken you so long to release Blind? I mean, years and years. Yeah, because uh, after we we did this thing called uh, Technocracy, and uh, we yeah we 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 lost a singer after that, and uh, we kind of like took a break because we just got burned on the whole thing, and uh, it took a while to round up Pepper and Carl. What is the stuff that you like to listen to personally? Uh, Vitus, Trouble, Flag, Sabbath. You too. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I don't, you know, I, in, in, in all honesty, I don't, I don't listen to that much new stuff. You know, I mean, I'm not really that impressed. There's a few bands like Helmet that pretty much are, are and Soundgarden is another band that I listen to a lot. But other than that, it's pretty much, you know, Vitus, <laughs> Black Flag, Black Sabbath, Trouble. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you this with a purpose. I know that uh, Phil, the frontman of Pantera, he's a big fan of everything that is slow and grinding, like the Melvins, yeah. like Midas, like Trouble, yeah. stuff like that. And I know that you've got a side project together with him. You want yeah. to talk about that? Uh, well, it was just something that me and Phil had done in New Orleans. And we smoked a bunch of weed and drank a bunch of beer and uh, wrote these couple of songs. And we did it in like uh, something stupid, like two days. But it ended up sounding really good, but it's, you know, it's what Phil's really into and it's what I was into. And we just got, we just got together with some guys from a band called uh, I Hate God in uh, another band called Crowbar. And it's just five guys from all from different bands and we did it. And it sounds, you know, it sounds heavy as lead. 